Hey guys, MTG Moxman here. Secret Layers is coming up next. I know, you thought I would never talk about it, but I'm gonna. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. MTG Moxman here. Hope you guys are like, you know, having a great day. Things are chilling out. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the content which I provide you with tonight. For my patrons, you're awesome, you know it's true. And if you're here for the giveaways, well those are still happening too, you'll find the links in the giveaways below. Hit the link that prescribes to the thing you'd like to enter for. Patrons have the patron giveaway, and the regular viewers have the viewer giveaway. Just hit the right one, leave a comment in that, and you will be entered for the draws, okay? Now of course, patrons have a draw this weekend, and that's in December of 2020, in case this video is being watched 20 years from now. Uh, and of course, the the regular viewers is at the end of the month. And for every 100 new subscribers we get, we add a new box to the mix. So it gets bigger and bigger the more people we get. There, that's my spiel. I'm sticking to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can turn it off right about now because it's one minute in and chances are everyone's already left. Did they go? Did everyone else leave? I know. Guys, this is a hard topic. I don't like talking about it. You guys know I don't. For those of you who know me well, I am not fond of secret layers. I never have been, and it's not for all the other reasons. I'm not even going to tell you which ones. We're going to talk about it tonight, okay? I finally found a secret layer that I think is decent. I'm not buying any, but I don't hate it, okay? For those of you who know me well, um, I am not a fond of... Not fond, not of fond, not fond of secret layers. There's lots of errors made. There's printing things done where the, where the things still curl when it's foil. These are supposed to be premium products. So that alone means they better be perfect. Number two, we used to have things like um, from the vaults. From the vaults used to go to your local retailing store. And that was a way for them to make some extra bucks because Wizards gouges them so much on boxes. So I'm still, I still believe in supporting my LGS, okay? I really do. I don't want just one or two LGSs in the world. I want a variety. I want competition. So when, when they took that away and Secret Layers came out, all that profit goes right back to Wizards, which in this case goes right back to Hasbro. So I have an issue with the food chain of how it goes. The shipping was another thing, where you buy this $29.99 thing of cards, which not a horrific price, okay, not, not horrific. They're all different priced, of course, based on the cards in them. Um, but then you have like 50 bucks shipping, because we're in Canada. I know it's different in the States, but I'm saying from Canada's point of view, it's pretty bad, right? Not to mention it could be import fees, and it can go on and on. So for all those reasons, I've always hated the cards. I, I don't own any. It's not that the art is not beautiful. It's, it's not that... Uh, it's not good to have more reprints in the market and drive the prices down a bit. It's it's the other reasons. It's all those others I just mentioned. I hate it. I've never enjoyed them. I've never purchased any. I've told my best friends I hate them. I tell them not to buy it. But a lot of people don't listen. And they enjoy these cards. Now... In the case of like fetch lands and stuff, I get that. You want to have some fetch lands in there. You want to have some of these. Good... Now, of course, they brought fetches back anyway, but still, I can see why those kind of cards come back, right? Um, Bitter Blossom, stuff like that. I, I get it. I get it. Um, the Walking Dead was a travesty to me to allow those into magic because they're not the same worlds or, or sets. Next thing we're going to have Smurfs coming, Thundercats, GoBots, G.I. Joe, and Transformers. G.I. Joe and Transformers, I might allow. You guys know I love my toys. So, I've never enjoyed any. I've always had an issue with all of these cards. But, now we have one that has caught my eye. You saw it in the thumbnail. Bob Ross. Now, other than the Deadpool reference from the movie and the preview stuff, I didn't know who Bob Ross was. I had to go learn. That he was like an army guy. He got stationed in Alaska. Became a painter. Like, I read up. I read up. I'm educated educated. I know what's going on in the worlds. So, I read up on him. Now, what caught me is, I like his style of art. I like paintings that look like they're supposed to look like a mountainside, like a tree. I actually like that type. Same as he did. And I don't like buildings in my pictures. I like natural scenes of forests and woodlands. 
I love magic cards that have almost nothing. Like, if you see a woodland scene like a like a forest, I like it looking like a forest. A plains looking like a plains. I don't want buildings in the background or a wrecked cottage or a little destroyed castle. I just like scenery. I'm a scenery kind of guy. A lot of Bob Russ's pictures are scenery. So, you know, I'm enjoying this. I took a look at the lands. They are beautiful. By my point of view of that artwork, it is beautiful to look at. Now, who knows what my next question is going to be? I know you can't answer. It's rhetorical. Why aren't they full art? Why? Oh, that's right. They want to do full art next time. They'll do a Bob Ross full art one. They're saving their ammo for later on. That's what Wizards does. Just like an Apple product. You know why Apple products have that little bite out of them? Because you never get the whole product. You get a piece of it. They could have done the Bob Ross things full art right away. Save the knickknack. But they didn't do that, did they? No, no. Gave us just... I mean, it's still beautiful. They are very nice. I'm not going to disagree with any of you guys about the the quality of the look of the cards. Okay? Love the art. And that's why I'm doing this video finally. Because I don't do Secret Lair. I don't really talk about it. it, it it's, it's taboo. But in this case, I'm, I'm going to give it a pass. Because it is very beautiful. And I took a look and I read up and I read about the guy and the art. You know, he died of like cancer. and so I, I get it. He, he was a good guy. Man. He, he had a TV show and everything. Which I never saw. I know. I had to like look up episodes on YouTube. Like you're doing to me right now. If you're still listening at 6 minutes and 20 seconds in. Thank you to my regular viewers. I know you are. Drinking my water. But I was surprised at the simplicity and beauty of the art. And maybe wonder why they haven't used some of his art before. But I guess you have to license it from, from the alternate company, Bob Ross Inc. or whatever, which is owned by whatever that company is. Um, so, yeah, I'm giving this one a thumbs up, a solid thumbs up. Okay, I usually don't go for this stuff. I went for one of the Comic Cons because it had Grimlock as a Transformer and that Sword of Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. Like I went for that because... That's nostalgic for me, and I didn't care if I ever played with the cards. I want them to look pretty inside of a case, okay? But Walking Dead was like a playable card. That bothers me. These here are just basic lands. It could be from any world that, that magic could have it. So because there's nothing in them, they could be anywhere, which I love. I love the look, the feel, and, and they're, you know, all different pictures of it. Gorgeous. So this one is definitely getting a thumbs up for me. I really did appreciate looking at it. And that's the only reason tonight I'm talking about it. Now, as in the future of, of Secret Lair, understand, guys, this is a cash grab. That's what Wizards does with this particular line of products. The more people buy it, the more Wizards is going to populate this product out there. The more they will make of it. That's why there's no, like, limits on them. Right? It's as many as people order. And don't think... That doesn't mean they can't go back and reprint this two years from now. They, they can recycle this as much as they want. So it's never limited. Okay? It's never special. It is pretty, it is nice, but the first time Wizards goes to reprint this, reprint Bitter Blossom again, even if it's different art, they're reprinting it again, it's losing a lot of its nostalgic value, isn't it? And in general, a lot of these cards have started to fall a little bit, like people aren't buying as many, which could drive up the prices later, because it could make it more special for those who did purchase them. Um, I was tempted to get the Bob Ross ones, I really was, I didn't buy any, but I was tempted, but the price is ridiculous. It's a basic land. I ain't paying 30 bucks for it. I, I wouldn't. I don't pay that for full art lands. It's not going to happen. But I can hopefully find them in a couple of years when they're cheap and in somebody's bin. <laughs> Remember, any cards you like, always put down a note that you like that card so you can remind yourself later. It's a very important fact of magic collecting. Is you sell it when it's high, buy it back when it's low. Especially when things are rotating out. So... This is my take on secret layers, okay? This is my, my thing in a half shell. Money-making scam I don't appreciate. This one got me, though, because the art is beautiful, and I do enjoy looking at it. Um, I don't like the fact Wizards pushes it out. I'm glad there's no unique products. I'm glad it's not, like, specialty cards or something. I'm glad it's, like, just reprints of stuff. I, I actually don't mind that. And the fact that The Walking Dead's there just still ticks me off, but I'll ignore that for now. And that's as far as I'm willing to take it. This is as far as this video will go in secret layers, unless they do something else that catches my eye. Because this was like these were pretty, and they were good to look at. And I know I'm late to the party. Don't worry. I don't. I I understand this probably won't get tons of views. Uh, and I know most people don't watch nine minutes and thirty seconds in either. Algorithm tells me that. But it's cool, so I appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who are interested, um, uh, 
there's nothing changed in the background today. Remember, it's only going to happen on, on Mondays, right? So so every Monday, if you're watching this video this late day, if you're one of my regular viewers, remember to to email me. Don't put the answer in there because people will find the answer, okay? And I only take the first few people. I don't take an unlimited amount, okay? Because it's, it's, for, it's for a chance for a prize. So you, you just got to be fast, okay? Because not everyone gets in. I only respond back to those who got in, to be fair, okay? So, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video tonight. This is MTG Moxman. And again, big shout out to everyone who makes my life easier and awesome out there. Um, I, I went out and did some stuff. We will talk about that soon. It'll be awesome. And don't forget, we have a draw on Sunday for the patrons. It's going to be awesome. And remember, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the content that we provided you tonight. See how fast that was? Lickety split. Barber trick. All right. That, that's it. That's all I got tonight. I can't believe I did a secret layers. Ugh, I feel like almost dirty, but that art was so pretty. Hey, thanks a lot. Big shout out to all my patrons. And yes, almost all the patron slots are filled. So if you're interested in joining the patron, you better get on there while you can. Because it's almost done. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. And have a great one. Patrons rock. Viewers rock. It's Christmas time.